Sup guys, welcome back to the Sass Monster Gaming. I'm gonna kick off the rebirth of my channel with a little bit of Apex Legends because it's a game that I love to play. It's a game that I'm good at. Um, reminds me of Titanfall a lot, just minus the um, wall running, the parkour. So, I'm typically a Bangalore main. Um, I was thinking this could be like a how-to video or uh, what do you call those shits? Um, tips and tricks <laughs> video uh, so what I'm gonna do for right now is go into firing range because I think that's the best way for me to be able to show you guys tips and tricks <clears throat> or how to pick the proper gun and what armor does what what function does what the best way to explain everything so first of all let me get rid of this Okay, you get rid of this. This is a firing range. And just as an FYI, there's an Easter egg here. I haven't figured it out. Anyway, so Apex Legends has four armor classes. The legendary, which makes your which has fast use, which makes your consumables consumables take half as long, right? Then you have your purple, which absorbs a hundred. These absorb the same amount, by the way, guys. Gold and purple. So just because someone has gold, it's not that big of a deal. The only difference is that when they use a consumable, this is a consumable, a shield cell or um, health or this takes half the time, right? So let's this takes around five seconds, right? So it's gonna be like 2.5 seconds if you have gold. Anyway, back to my story. If you have purple, you have blue, absorb 75, this absorbs 50. Ideally, you would want gold. Obviously, you would want gold everything, but that's hard. Now, the helmet, fairly similar to this. It um, has reduced tactical with ultimate recharge time. So, your tactical ability would be this. Which is when you press LB. For Bangalore, it's <clears throat> smoke. Tactical smoke, so no, no one can see you, right? Now, your ultimate ability... Let me see if I can pick this up for you. Show you what I'm talking about. Ultimate ability is the major barrage. So I'm gonna pick this up real quick so I can show you. Now you see how fast it takes to use your accelerant? Without it, look how slow it takes. This is crucial, extremely crucial in battle to have gold. Anyone knows when you're getting shot at, right, and you need to recharge your health or your, your shields quickly, the gold is the best to have. Anyway, this is your ultimate ability. Oh, you painless, knocking at the door. But if you have this on, it recharges your tactical and your super abilities extremely fast. Bangalore has the barrage, which is the rockets that slow you down and then when they blow up on impact, you get injured. Um, you can kill someone, but it's not likely. This guardian angel pack, right? When someone drops, like let's say your teammate drops and you go to pick them up, what happens is when they're regened, they have half health, half shields automatically. This here is a knockdown shield. They come in four sets, just like the armor, just like the helmets, just like the book bags. So anything below legendary doesn't have anything extra. Legendary has like a fast use, fast charge, guardian angel, um, revive. Purple, blue, and white don't have anything s special to them. Um, now, the knockdown shields, when you get knocked down, uh, let's say enemy shoots you down and you're at half health, you're on the ground. So you're going to be crawling around. You're going to press, I believe it's our, uh, your right bumper. And that helps you, you know, it, it helps block incoming bullets for me i think it's bullshit because most of the time it's ineffective so it doesn't even matter if you have it don't have it it, it it makes no difference half the time because they can still shoot through it all they have to do is jump over you kick you punch you or if they use a finishing move on you that's it your shield means nothing all right so th this is your armor your book bags this doesn't hold a lot 
this holds, what is this, 1, 2, 4, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Holds 14, right? Um, okay, he's inviting me, but I'm busy right now. This holds 14. This one, 2, 4, 6, this only holds 10, right? So they, pretty much each one goes up by 2. Except these two. These two carry the same amount. It's just the only difference between this one and that one. This has a special ability to it. What I need to do is appear offline because th people are going to um, start fucking irritating the shit out of me. <clears throat> Alright, now I'm going to get to your consumables. This is a shield battery. This regens your shield. So if you were to get hurt... I'm gonna get hurt. I'm just gonna hurt myself real quick. Ah, God, that does hurt. Like hell. Oh, Jesus, I'm gonna kill myself. These are consumables. This, the shield battery, not to be confused with the shield cell. Shield cell only restores 25. So you see how I have four bars? See how I have four bars there? This is only gonna replenish one bar. Versus the big boy. It's gonna replenish the the entire bar, oh, all four, the entire column. Now, similar, it's similar to this guy, but this is health. A syringe and med kit. Med kit is the big boy. I don't know why he keeps inviting me. I'm busy right now. The syringe, similar to the shield cell. One sec. It heals in increments of four, so four slots. One, two, three, four. Versus this one, heals the entire column or row, whatever the fuck. This, the Phoenix kit, is slow as shit. 10 seconds, 10 seconds may not seem like a lot. 10 seconds is a lot because it takes forever to, sh to heal yourself. Once again, I'm just going to show you real quick. This, I mean, I'm going to get into the throw booth in a minute. Woo! Woo! Alright. Look how slow this takes. Oh, I have the fast charge. Okay. But Phoenix Kit is a shield cell and a med kit rolled into one. So it, it regens your health and your shields. This is the ultimate accelerant. Ultimate accelerants, ultimately what they do, if I were to use this, up. Dropping the pain. let that, you know, let it go for a few seconds. Ultimate accelerants. Bonk. Bonk. We'll gather a couple of take a minute. Oh my god, hurry up! Is this sh All right. Ultimate accelerants replenish your ultimate, which is the little thing in the middle. In this case, for Bangalore, it's the barrage. Yes! Uh, now that we're done with that, we're gonna get into throwables. This is the Arc Star. Arc Star, when it explodes, causes electrical damage and it also slows Throwing the person down, right? Grenade, frag grenade, it's just like any grenade, it's very self explanatory. Nothing special. Frag uh, out. Except that it doesn't explode on impact, but it doesn't have a pretty decent blast radius. Thermite, it's a thermite grenade that produces fire. Throwing thermite. In closed quarters, throwables are fucking life. In closed quarters, if you have throwables. I'm gonna break this up into sections. So, now that I've gone over armor, I've gone over throwables, what I'm gonna get into is weapons. And at the end, I'll get into <coughs> legends, basic mechanics of the game. So, we're gonna start off with the Havoc. Ideally, <coughs> weapons come with different, uh, let's say, customizations, right? You're gonna want the best, because the best makes your gun shoot better, it's more stable, less recoil. So, just like with the armor, and the book bags, and the drop-down shields, you have levels to this as well. So, you're gonna have your sights. Your one times, you're gonna have your two times, you're gonna have the one times hollow, which is fairly similar, except that this one's a box, this one's uh, a circle. You have your one two times, 
then you have your three times scope. Now, if you have a sniper, you have your four times digi, which lets you see the person's body heat. So you can see them through smoke, gas, stuff like that. Four times sniper, six times sniper, your two times four. I prefer none of these right here. This, if I'm in a bind and have nothing else to grab, but all my snipers ultimately have a three times. You're gonna, I'm gonna show you what I mean in a minute. But let's get some ammo. Energy weapons take energy ammo. Energy ammo looks like light green, this lime color. You're always gonna pick that up. So the havoc requires four things. One being a select receiver, which is a hop up. You attach it to the end of the havoc and it allows it to shoot better. So it has less recoil, it's more stable. Now you need a stock. A stock comes also in four levels. Obviously purple being the best, white being the least best. So we're gonna grab a purple. <clears throat> now you wanna extend the energy mag. It's almost like a regular bullet mag in any gun. Purple being the best, all the way down to white being the least. So we're gonna grab a purple. Now I would, uh, for this gun, probably two times. I don't prefer energy weapons unless it's a triple take. It's just not my cup of tea. Oh, oh god, as you can see, this gun has terrible recoil. It's not very stable. Hence the reason why I don't pick it. Alright, so now we're gonna move on to the devotion. Fairly similar to the Havoc. I also do not recommend this gun. Unless you're great at just holding and now the difference between the Havoc and the Devotion. Havoc uses a select receiver. Devotion uses a turbocharger, which is a legendary hop-up, which gives you more stabilization. And you also have to put a barrel stabilizer on this one as well. I'm going to go for gold because gold is the best in this game. Any legendary site will do. If I'm going to pick one, Devotion is better than Havoc, but I still don't like this gun. All right. Triple take. Triple take is a sniper. <clears throat> Snipers do not carry regular stocks, standard stocks. They carry sniper stocks. So we're gonna go for a purple. It needs an attachment, which is precision choke. And I believe that's it. But for this one, I'm gonna put a three times scope on it. So look how close this is with a three times. Look at that. Typically it takes maybe if you have a headshot, I need this guy to be alright. So it takes one, about two shots to the head for the triple two. About three to the body. I can't really tell you how many sh shots it will take, but I'm sure it will take a full clip of either one for you to knock someone down. All right, this is the charge rifle. Charge rifle only requires a stock and a sight. It's extremely accurate. What the hell was that? I'm not bugging. You guys heard that, right? Anyway. <laughs> so this is the charge rifle. As you can see, it shoots basically like a laser. Extremely accurate. They did nerf this gun because it was it was overpowered, and it used to have an it used to carry an extended clip. It used to carry this like the triple take, but they were like, no, it's too strong. Let's knock it down. All right, let's get rid of this real quick. No longer need that. We're gonna move. I I want to know what that explosion was. I'm really curious as to what that was. So, we're going to move into the heavy weapons. Heavy weapons are green. These are heavy rounds. What you saw was energy. This is heavy. Heavy weapons will pack a punch. Flatline has a fairly decent recoil, but it's manageable if you move the stick left and right. This does not require... Uh, the flatline doesn't require a um, barrel stabilizer. But it does require stock. It does require a hop up. If you choose to, you do not need the hop up on this gun. All the hop up does is make it single fire. Extremely powerful, but it's slow. 
And then you have auto mode. See, if you move it left and right, <clears throat> you, you can stabilize this gun. So, heavy weapons require heavy mags. Just like the energy mags, this one requires heavy. So, this gives me about 30. This, this is a really good gun. Flatline, I got it, one of my personal favorites. Now we're gonna move on to the hemlock. Hemlock is not a auto rifle. Hemlock is either single or it's burst. Pick one. It's, it's both decent. I'm not that accurate. So I can't sit here and tell you this is a gun I pick up unless I really, really have to. I do not pick up this gun. It's just, it's not for me. I'm not that accurate with it. It's about four. Yo, what the hell is that? Anyway, then you have it on single fire. If you have a fast trigger finger, oh god, this is the gun for you. I don't have a fast trigger finger. <laughs> I'm garbage. This is the longbow. The longbow is a sniper. I'm gonna put a there we go. sniper. The longbow used to be amazing, but they nerfed it because people were complaining how strong it was. So. A little fun fact about this one. This one has a really nasty uh, bullet drop. So over long distances, the bullet tends to do like a curvature at the end, and it just drops down. So you need to be extremely accurate, and you need to aim a little higher than what it would be. So. I don't know if that makes any sense. Versus the triple take, which is a three-round burst when you shoot it out, and it's fairly accurate. It shoots straight. <clears throat> So we're gonna get into the Spitfire. Spitfire is a light machine gun. This bad boy has terrible recoil. Let me show you. I would never use it three times. I recommend the two times on a gun like this. If you're up close, this is a good gun. But if this person's bobbing and weaving left and right, oh my god, you're gonna have such, such a tough time. Now, this right here is a handgun. This is the wingman. The wingman, this is a pistol, it's a handgun. And it used to shoot, uh, I think like eight bullets with the heavy mag, which is this one right here, the purple, which is the highest one you can get. But they nerfed it because people were complaining, so now it does not. So, it's a strong handgun. That's three headshots in your person's down. About, about four or five to the body. We're missing a gun. The Prowler. The Prowler is another gun. It's similar to the Hemlock with the three round burst. The only difference is when you attach a hop up to it, right? Without the hop up, it has a burst. See that? Now, if you switch it by pressing the left on the D-pad, it turns into an auto gun. Absolutely terror. Now, this gun is fairly stable. I don't have any attachments on it except the, the hop-up. Look how stable this, this gun is. I highly recommend Flatline, Prowler. Um, if you're good, the Hemlock. I'm not an attachment. Just, just so you guys can see what I mean about how stable this gun is. All right, beautiful, and this gun rips. I can guarantee you'll get so many kills with this gun. Let's move on to my favorite of all the guns, the light weapons. Light weapons take light ammo. Same concept with the levels, legendary being the best. You know, they usually have some special thing to it. You're purple, you're blue, and you're white. We're gonna start off with the G7. The G7 in Titanfall, if I'm correct, was a semi-automatic. What the? I know you guys saw that. Must be fucking hallucinating. It's a semi-automatic rifle. It's a sniper. You can use it as a sniper. Or you can use it like a um, precision if you want to. But it's technically a sniper. So we're gonna attach some sniper. I put three times on this. Arrow mod, 
and a light extended mod purple. This gun is beast. Look at that. Let me let me replenish this guy. So it's gonna be now. That's it by itself. It's a single gun, single fire. All right, but the single fire I think releases like two bullets. I'm gonna add a hop up to this. The hop up makes it a double tap trigger. So, not only does it release two, three bullets every time you fire it, it shoots twice. Watch. See? This gun is deadly. Deadly. You can switch it any way you want. If you want single, if you want the burst. Alternator. This is a gun. The alternator and the P20 are two guns you grab at the beginning of the game when you have nothing else to grab, essentially. They're not very accurate and they're not very powerful. And, and speaking of light weapons, it's at the bottom. It's at the bottom of, of, of um, strength. So, it's, it's not powerful. It's not really powerful. So... Yeah, you see, you really gotta, like, lay it into this guy. But it's alright. For the beginning of the game... Please don't bring it throughout the rest. This is the P20. P20 is a pistol, which also puts a hop up. The hop up makes this shit deadly. Now, without the hop up. How do you take up? There you go. Without the hop up, it's alright. It's not, it's not a gun I really recommend. R99 is a SMG. It's a, um, it's a SMG. It's a bullet eater. It's going to inhale bullets. So make sure if you're going to grab this gun to have a lot of ammo. Now, this right here, I forgot to mention, is a digital threat. It only fits pistols, SMGs, and shotguns. So that means it only fits the Peacekeeper and the Ava for SMGs. You only have the R99, which I'm holding, and the Prowler, which I showed you earlier. For the pistol, it's the R99 and the P2020. Now, the legendary sights, as I already told you, they can see body heat. So there was smoke here, like this. You see how it highlights them? All right, look at that. This is what a purple clip, look how it just eats bullets, just eats bullets. They nerfed his gun as well. Used to be better than this, but it is what it is. So if I'm here, I need to really be accurate. It's weaker than the R3. I'm going to save the R3 for last. Next up, RE45, aka RE45. What the hell? I know you guys saw that. When you guys saw that. Anyway, this is one of my favorite pistols. Piece of shit, P20, semi-auto, and the handgun over there, the wingman. So we're going to attach some good stuff to it. And this gun, this is a gun I would even recommend bringing into the final circle of the, of the game. Because it's that good of a gun. It's that good of a <laughs> Look at that. The speed of an R99. But the accuracy of a B20. You know what I'm trying to say? Look. Beautiful. This gun is beautiful. Highly recommend it. Alright. Now, this is my favorite gun. In my opinion, the best gun of the game is extremely accurate. Extremely accurate. You, There's no way you can miss with a gun like this. Just no way. This gun is still good, even without... Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. You can have the crappiest attachments on this and still mow someone down. This one also takes the anvil. The only two guns that take the anvil are the flatline and the R3. Look at this. Ah! Beautiful. You guys don't realize how many how many people I've killed with this gun. That. Look at that accuracy. It's 
slight recoil, the farther you get, but it's not that big of a deal. It's still doable. CR3. It's my baby. We're gonna get- we're almost done here, guys. We're gonna get into the shotguns now. So you have three shotguns. You have a pistol-type shotgun. You have a lever-action shotgun. And a full-auto shotgun. So this is the Ava. The Ava requires three things. All three shotguns require a bolt. And they come in three levels. We're gonna go for purple. The Ava requires a... Where is it? The double tap. So the double tap goes on the G7 and the Ava. Pick that up. And we're gonna put a legendary side on this. Now, when you add a double tap to the Ava, it's similar to how the G7 does the double... Um... Now... Little cool thing about the shotguns, they have different spreads. I'm gonna show you right now what I mean. So this is the spread. See how that looks like a little domino? Versus the peacekeeper. Which takes takes a precision choke. Triple take and peacekeeper take precision choke. The peacekeeper is a different Peacekeeper is a star, see? Extremely. Very powerful. I've actually seen people who snipe, like, across the map with this gun. Ridiculous. Now, this is a Mozambique. Mozambique. It's kind of like an ongoing joke in this game. Mozambique, yeah. It's a really shitty gun. Even with the hop-up attached, it's still a piece of crap because it's only three bullets. It takes forever to freaking load. And you have to be ridiculously accurate with this gun because the spread... This is the spread. See? It's just the line. Like, you gotta be accurate with this gun. It's terrible. Terrible, in my opinion. All right, now we're gonna get into the sniper rifles. I already showed you two of them, which was the um, triple take and the longbow. Now we're gonna get into the legendary weapons. Legendary weapons you only find in legend in the um, drops, which is the drop ship. So I'm gonna show you the Kraber. Kraber is a gun that even with a purple or gold helmet, this is what it does to you. Look at that. All it takes is one hit. One hit. And it's extremely accurate. It has legendary sights. I can see you. Doesn't matter where you are, who you are. Just for. Just to show you what I mean. It's not working for some odd reason. This is strange. It's supposed to have, um. The sight on it, but I guess not. Anyway. <laughs> The only thing bad about legendary guns, once you eat up the ammo, watch me show you. Once you eat the ammo up, as you can see, it's almost done. That's it. You can't get more ammo. You're done. You have to get a new gun. So, that sucks. This right here is another shotgun. So, this is a legendary shotgun, it's a massive. The peacekeeper is actually stronger. It has a decent spread, it's a spread for this. It's a, literally a straight line. Now, this is the L Star. It's another energy type weapon. Horrible. I think it's garbage. The um, Titanfall version, I believe, was like a. a, a was better. I don't know what they did to it in this game, but it, it does this weird. Once it starts getting towards the end of the clip, it does this weird fucking swaying thing for some odd reason. And if you're far, like if you're over here, look at this. It like does a swaying circle thing. You need to be extremely close to this. I gotta be here to get a kill. It's just, it's just not a gun for me. Now we got through the guns, we got through the armor, the throwables, and the attachments. 
Now we're gonna get to basic mechanics. Dun 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 Anyway. So you can slide, jump, and shoot in this game, like you would in any game. I'm telling you, this game is, is bugging out. You can slide and kick, or punch. You can jump and kick. All right. You can ping. Throw your stuff. So if I wanted to ping, you have to press RB and you know, let's say I want my teammates to go there. Let's reposition here. Yo, go there. Or, you know, watch out, there's an enemy. If you don't want to do that, getting the wheel out, gonna check this you can one. just double enemy tap RB. And there you go. So it's gonna be like that. Tango near me. Contact on my marker. Like yo, I'm gonna go loot here real quick. You know. Hostile, going loud. Come attack here. I'm gonna go here. Right. Defending, here. I'm watching. Enemies have been here. It's all. This is Enemy all useful spotted. shit. Resupplying. Enemy now, spotted. let's say you're in the middle of the match and you want to talk shit because. You think you're that good? Better find me before I find yeah, you. I'm trying to say, because I talk shit a lot in games. All right, let me pick up a gun real quick. Fun thing about this game. Uh, what am I doing? Fun thing about this game, there's zip lines. So you're going to run into things that look like this. All right. Eh. Things you can go up and you can go down the rope. I need to show you one that goes across. This is effective if you want to get away from someone quickly. The thing is, they can still shoot you, and trust me, they will shoot you because that's what this game is all about. God damn it, I fell. That's what this game is all about. People trying to kill you. So be prepared that when someone's shooting at you on this. You need to be accurate because this is this this can get kinda hard to shoot when you're up here, you know what I'm trying to say? But it gets you to places very quickly. Extremely quickly. Alright, let's drop down. There's no fall damage in this game. Observe. As you can see. You will not die. Alright. It's pretty much it when it comes to basics. You know, your inventory, you can throw stuff out, you can pick stuff up. Next is Legends. I'm playing as Bangalore. Bangalore has a few features. She has her smoke, gives you cover. She has her barrage, right? She also has a thing called double time. When she's getting shot at, when she's getting shot at, she runs at the speed of fucking light. She's fast as shit. Right now she's not doing it because she's not being shot at. She's she's generally one of my one of my favorite characters. Now, Bangalore fits into a class. She's an assault class. Anyone that has the bullet above their face is an assault class. Octane, Mirage, Bangalore, Wraith. Bloodhound and Crypto are the um, trackers. Gibraltar, Watson, and Caustic are the defenders. Um, Lifeline and Pat- I don't know why Pathfinder's a uh, health. Uh, which is- Weird. It's weird for me. But Lifeline helps. So she has like a little hill drone. We're gonna get into each one. This is Bloodhound. I return to the hunt. Bloodhound's a tracker. So let's say <clears throat> he wants to see through walls. Press this, and it tells you, yo, there's like one top. Kill him. He also has this thing, which is his ultimate. Kind of see which one suits you best. Bloodhound's definitely my second favorite. If you want to be aggressive, or you like playing aggressively, he's the character for you. Especially you Call of Duty players. You're going to see what I mean with this character. So, similar to his tracker, right? Which doesn't have that long of a range. Similar to his tracker. You're gonna get, um, you're gonna bathe in bloof. 
which is what they call it. So everything turns gray, but enemies are outlined in bright red. You can see them through walls, you can see them through smoke, and you run fast. So you get like a 10% speed boost. So let's say you want to hunt somebody down, and that bitch is running. You know, zipping, dipping, and bipping on zip lines and moving and shaking. Look how fast I'm moving. They, they cut around a wall, and you're like, hi, bitch. Now, let's say, for example, you lose track of them. You lose track? No problem. Bloodhound comes with crows. You see these little birds? where they go? Oh. See these crows, these birds? Crows let you know that there's an enemy nearby or an enemy just walked by there a few seconds before. So when you scan... Footsteps are gonna appear. Footsteps and um, trace markers where it's gonna say 15 seconds, 30 seconds, and when you ping it, you can let your teammates know, hey, someone was here 15 seconds ago. Which is great if you don't have a mic, but you wanna tell your teammates, yo, somebody's ahead of us. And there's no other way to tell them. So, that is Bluffhound. We're gonna go into the Gibby, Gibraltar. He's a defender. He has his dome. So he blocks from incoming projectiles, barrages. You, you and your teammates can chill in here real quick, you know, heal up, do what you gotta do. He also has an ultimate, which is similar to the Bangalore barrage, except his is like a oncoming onslaught of missiles. It doesn't slow you down, but it packs a punch. It's not long, but it packs a punch. I'll show you what that is in a minute. Um, he doesn't have a passive that I'm aware of besides his shield. He has a gun shield that you guys, you guys might like. So this is it. Signal an airstrike. Woo! Rain down from above. So if you're caught in this, you're ass the fuck out. You're going to die. But it doesn't last long enough. It's a shitty part. Anyway. If I were to be getting shot at or shooting somebody, this pops up. See this gun, this shield that pops around my gun? It protects me. So now, not only do I have my armor, I have a shield to block. So keep that in mind shooting at a Gibraltar. They're hard to kill because it takes more, to, more bullets to kill them. So you're, you're going to at least take two clips. All right, now we're going to go into lifeline. Lifeline's my sweetie. Care package incoming, big things in that. This is my. I think she's from. I don't know where she's from, but nice little Barbados accent she got there. So the lifeline has the passive of being able to run a little fast when she's under fire. I believe that's what it is. Oh, there you go. Incoming damage increased by five. That's what it was. Just trying to figure that out. So let's say your teammates get wounded in the heat of battle. And you don't have syringes or med kits because your dumbass forgot. Lifeline has a little drone that you could hook up to that heals you. You know, if you need to push it, you can push it. Like, take it with you. It, it's useful when you have a Gibraltar and a Lifeline. Because you could put this inside the dome and just fucking chill there. Right? So now your teammates are getting healed. Let's say your teammate, for some reason, forgot to pick up a shield. Forgot to pick up a helmet. Or ran out of shield cells. Lifeline calls in it care package here's your birthday present, here's your birthday present. care package incoming big things and that watch out because if you fall underneath this thing as you can see it will kill you care package has three slots it's gonna come with a sight it's gonna come with a piece of armor and some type of regeneration like a health or a shield so I have this, I have this. So your teammates can loot from this, not just you. And that's pretty much it. Now we're gonna move to Pathfinder. Pathfinder, come to save the day. his passive Maybe. is good. So he can kinda do the Spider-Man shit and zip around. Nothing grand. If, you, if you're trying to get out of a bind and you like zipping around the map like that, <clears throat> Pathfinder's good for you. Cause I can just go, you know, we get the fuck out of there, right? Now his ultimate is a zip line. It's not far. Just like you see these zip lines above us, that's what he can do. He can zip line. So, let's say I wanted to go there. 
There's a whole team chasing me. I, I pop out this bad boy. And me and my team can just zoom the fuck away. Bye. You know? And get the fuck out of there. Now, let's say I fall off. And I'm like, shit, I can't get back up. He grabs, he, gra he grapples to anything. So I can just go like this. Automatically attach. Um, he also can grapple people. So let's say I wanted to grapple this guy. Uh, wait till this loads, apparently. Let's say I wanted to grapple him. As you can see, it brings a person closer to me, which is useful in the beginning of the match. <clears throat> you don't have a gun just yet, but you need to cause some type of damage, you know? You can just, bang, kick him. Now we're gonna go into Wraith. She is this the least favorite of my characters, different. right up there with Mirage. Now, Wraith is a crazy bitch. A little psycho hoe that came out of a sane asylum. Wraith has an interdimensional um, pathway, basically. A portal. So, one of her passives is this. Where, if she's getting shot at, she can kind of run away. Now, it's not fast. It's not the greatest. You don't move that fast with this. But you can still be shot at. Just keep that in mind. But... If you feel like you're gonna get fucking, you need to get out of a pinch really fast, use it. I think I've used her twice. So if someone's shooting at you, and hide behind a wall or some shit. If you know how to use her correctly, she's she can be pretty OP. But any character is OP if you know how to use them. Her ultimate is a portal. So let's say I wanted to get from here to there. Punching a tunnel. And I need my team to follow me. Right? We're getting shot at. We have no cover. We have nowhere to go. I need to get out fast. I set the portal. So you and your teammates can sh jump through this portal. Right? And get to where you need to go. Bear in mind, enemies can also follow you into this portal. So if you have a caustic, throw a trap right there. Right? So that's Rafe. This now is my big boy, right. Caustic. Caustic is a gas trapper he's a defense player so let's say someone was coming after you and you're in a, you're in a tight room you really don't have much to shoot them with lay some gas traps gas trap and gas them. you can shoot it and it releases gas doesn't do a lot of damage but this gas slows them down it doesn't hurt you it doesn't slow you down because you have a gas mask but it does hurt and slow down the enemy it doesn't hurt your teammates but it slows them down now these gas tanks as you can see you see this bottom part right here can be shot so you can shoot it or your the enemy team can shoot it so keep in mind that if you don't if you play it in place it in a spot that they can see they're gonna shoot it now his ultimate is fun now let's say hypothetically speaking you and your team are in a tight room you guys can't get out you need to do something to get them out of the house or they're following you whatever the case might be he has an ultimate ability that does a large fucking cloud of gas look how big this this gas cloud is look at that you know while you're in there the enemy's slow as fuck they can't see they're being hurt shoot them Easy peasy. Now you can only lay, I think, six at a time. I believe it's six at a time. I'm gonna test that theory in two seconds. I'm fairly certain it's six. I'm almost certain it's six. So, you know, you could block doors with these so people can't come into a room, you know? You can you can set them off My is clear. on your own if you want. Now we're gonna get into Mirage, another useless character. Of course you did. Mirage tactical ability Look is out, huh? Mirage's tactical ability is the bamboozle. So you decoy. can release a decoy and they'll shoot at the decoy. Um, it, it's it's it's. From far away, you can maybe get bamboozled, but people are used to it, so it's hard to bamboozle people now because it's it's fairly fucking noticeable 
when you see this guy running into a wall. Obviously, it's not a player. So his ultimate is useless. Unless you're in a really tight spot and need to get out. It makes him turn invisible. While he turns invisible, all these decoys are released. Which is stupid. And then, look, see, it doesn't last long. A few seconds. It's just terrible. It's just absolutely terrible. We're gonna go into Octane, the drug addict, the junkie. He has a stim ability, which makes him move fast. So if you're being chased or shot at, you know, this is good to use. His ultimate ability, besides <clears throat> being able to move fast, is a jump pad. So let's say you don't have a pathfinder in your team. And you need to get to a high area, but you can't reach. This is where he comes in handy. If you need to cover a long, longer distances in a short amount of time, it's always pad out. You know? Woo and you and your team can get away to safety. Now keep in mind, just like everything else, enemies can jump on this. They can spot it. We could check out they can here. jump on it. Take it. The sounds are very noticeable. You know, people can hear you zip lining. People can hear you picking up weapons. People can hear you dropping. People can hear you healing. You know, so keep in mind, sound in this game is extremely important. So be mindful of your surroundings at all times. Watson! Be back. My bebe! Watson lays traps. Instead of caustic traps, she lays electrical traps. So let's say, once again, you're in a room and you don't want the enemy to come in Grenade. you know so you go like Grenade this placed. Grenade coming in. and anyone who walks through it gets injured an enemy gets injured see so it stops the person from coming in now your team can walk through it and they're not gonna get hurt they're not gonna get hurt if your team walks through it you're gonna be perfectly fine it's just that it, you know, as you can see, it opens, closes, opens, and closes. Now, to me, this looks blue. To the enemy team, this turns bright red. So it's very noticeable. So be mindful that when you place it somewhere, the enemy can see bright red lines from fairly fucking far. Like a good 50 meters away, they can see that. Her ultimate ability, I think, is actually really cool. It's very useful when used properly. When used properly, keyword. Am I not gonna? Oh, okay, sorry. So this is her We're generator. About to get hit from above. This is her generator. This stops incoming projectiles. Silence. Like if I were to go like this, you see, it damages any incoming projectile. So if you're in a room and an enemy is trying to throw something at you, it just completely shoots it out. Now, they may not be able to throw projectiles at you, but an enemy team can do this. They can, you know, they can shoot down your generator. The generator also, really fun fact, when the generator's down, it heals your shields. So it passively heals your shields and it regenerates her, um, her fences so she can create more. She can only create a limited amount. She cannot create unlimited fences. She can only place, I believe, like 12. So don't think that you're going to sit there trapping everything. It's not going to work that way. Now we're going to get into the fairly newest legend, Crypto. Crypto is a tracker. So when you're using Crypto, be sure to hide in a good spot. Because when you're using Crypto's drone, you are extremely vulnerable. So he drops out a drone. And as you can see, he's there, right? So he's vulnerable. I can get shot at any point in time. So make sure that you let your team know, yo, look, I'm here. So you fly around with your drone and it pings enemies. Or you can ping them yourself. You can also ping loot. You know, like there's loot here. Helmet. Helmet. One of them over there. Enemy. You could pin, you know, over here. you can pin Buddy, stuff, tell them to go here. You could pick up enemy banners. If someone dies, you can pick up their banner. <clears throat> Which is good. 
Now, let's say there is people coming and you're like, oh, shit, I need to get out of my drone quick. You don't have to completely recall it. You can just exit and your drone stays drone. here. See? Your drone stays right there. It doesn't go anywhere. It has limited range, so don't think that you're going to be moving 500 meters away from your drone. It's, it's not going to work that way. You have to be very close. And if an enemy comes by, right? Let's say an enemy comes by. And you want to go back in here. Go back in your drone. Switching the drone view. But you need to get out and you don't want to leave your drone because the storm's coming. You can recall it completely. I'm recalling my drone. Recall your drone. And it completely comes back to you. Oh, I need my drone again. No problem. Putting an eye in the sky. Let's say you want to leave it here, right? Uh, I'm good to go. As it's standing there passively, it starts pinging any enemy that comes within range of the drone. So it's just going to be ping, 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 so you'll always see where they are. Now, let's say you have your ultimate ability ready, um, but you're not in your drone. You do not need to be in your drone to use the ultimate, as right you can here. see. Got one. Sending command. Shocks them, slows them down, and you can finish the kill. Be careful, because it will hurt you, too. Now, if you want to evade a EMP um, shock from a drone, all you have to do is this. It drops it, fine. Pick up your your shield again. That's all you gotta do. All right, guys. So that pretty much is a rundown. Tips and tricks. Oscar Mike, I'm spotted. What? Who am I spotted by? Oh, this game is fucking with me. I'm spotted. Yo, am I bugging? So anyway, you saw that little thing that she just did? That's her double time. Spotted. Double time in it. Heads down. Airstrike danger close. I'm spotted. What? I'm a little confused because that's, ne that's never happened to me. You guys are seeing this for the first time. Double time in it. Grenade. So she's going crazy. This is called her double Grenade. time, as you can see. Double time in it. Extremely useful when she's running. Double Bye, time bish. Alright. So, back to what I was saying. That was tips and tricks. I'm gonna do a part two, which is actual gameplay footage of, of me giving you tricks on where to go, how to play, what to do, strategy, and stuff like that. But that's gonna be a fairly long... Um, that's a little crazy. I feel like there's something in this game. You see, there's like shit blowing up. Double time in it. It's like things here. It's bugging me out. It's fucking with my head right now. My character's bugging. It's like random grenades being thrown. Alright guys, I, I, I'm gonna leave it like that because I'm getting fucking freaked out. So, if you liked what you saw, you thought it helped you, and kind of give you a, a, a general impression of what the game is like or how it's gonna play with you, just leave a like, leave a comment on how you think I would I should add or how I, I can improve. I'm always up for constructive criticism. But as always guys, stay sassy, stay classy, and stay badass. Thanks for watching guys.